Yo, it's TB2 from the Take Back. Out on a beautiful day in New York. Walking the AutoZone. Give me a battery charge. Just enjoying the day. Um, I don't drive cars, bro. I'm a, everybody know, like, in the Georgia motorcycle head. But it's fun, man. It keeps the kids busy, bro. Our kids are knocking on my door like, yo, can I see your bike? And they'll show me, like, $5. Like, I put gas in it. I'll be like, go ahead. Word, bro. I'll be walking. Okay, let me edit that. Now let's go deep. Let's just jump right into it. What that shit, what that Baphomet shit mean, we about to cover that shit in spirit. And this is, bro, on my channel, when I talk this shit, my, when I be on my sober 5%, really 1%, I'm a 1%er, nigga. This shit be something people never told you, bro. Some of it you can peep, but you can put the pieces together. If you watch, if you got a, if you really woke, you could watch the shit my stupid ass say, and you can connect, you can be like, damn. That nigga just connected a dot low key. I know I do that. I know that. But bro, one of the there there's two spiritual implications I'ma cover. And then there's one natural. I'ma do the natural first with the bop. The Baphomet in general, as far as the public, is a it's it's a curse sign, bro. It's a way to curse the people. When you do like that to people, you saying F y'all. Bro, I'm I'm I'ma drop a jewel before we continue with this. And, and I'm going to show you how, how all of this stuff is set up to be against the father, against to be against Yahweh and his son, Yeshua, and his mother. Even curse words, bro. Look at every curse word we say is defiling Jesus and his mother. You son of a bitch. You motherfucker. Son of a bitch. You motherfucker calling God a fucker of his mother, calling him a son of a bitch. Nigga, it's, it's a blanket over this world that we don't see hell be mocking the shit out of us. And we just go and, and they and they they distract us so hell can mock us. While we go about everyday life, hell is mocking the father. But that was just a jewel. But they do that to curse people, bro. And it shows the real nature of their initial energy is to really most people do this to hurt people. That's the contract they sign. I'm gonna get money to hurt people. That's the initial breath of their energy. And that's where that comes from. Like you representing me, but I'm here to hurt you. That's the that's the nature of that of that system. That's the nature of the beast, bro. You supporting me, but I'm gonna hurt you. That's what Satan did to Eve. He tricked her. Listen to what I say, but it's gonna hurt your ass. It's gonna kill you. But listen to me though. Follow what I say. But it's gonna kill you. It's gonna hurt you. So that's the natural impl implications of that mark. Now let me stop this because I don't want this shit to be stopped. Because I'm on one, so I'm gonna stop it and start over. Now, now we're gonna go deep into the spiritual applications of it. A lot of people know that it's a curse, but there's something about that sign that people don't know, and it shows. This is very important to understand as a spiritual person. Everything the devil puts out into the world is masking his weakness as a strength. So what he puts out is a weakness, but he masks it as his strength, such as like this, like, like the one eye symbolism. To them, that's a strength, like we showing we down. But it's actually the devil's weakness, which means he don't have power. All he can do is watch us. So they are watchers. So by us proclaiming that as a strength, it's actually personifying his weakness, bro. And that's what the Baphomet does. They use it as a strength, but it's actually a personification of the devil's weakness. And this is where it comes from, bro. They follow that goat because when the Israelites were in the Old Testament, God said, when you sin, put your hand on the goat and let that goat go into the wilderness and that goat will be a sacrifice for your sins. So the people put their sins on the goat. That's where we get the term scapegoat from. So that's how Satan feels. Like, 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 like the father is putting the sins of the world on me. He feels like an scapegoat and that's what he gets his people to believe. He feels like what we did is getting blamed for him because he don't have a way out and we got redemption. That's why he goes against Christ because we have redemption and he doesn't. And that's one of the key weaknesses of the Baphomet that they personify as a strength, but it's a weakness. And it shows that Satan feels vulnerable. He feels like, like God isn't fair. God is making me the escape goat. So he uses the goat, but it goes deeper than that. And this is as deep as it go right here. The Baphomet is also a perversion of the image of the son and the father. The only reason the world don't see that because the world don't connect biblical terms right the world don't rightly divide the scripture when God said let us make man in our image 
The Bible says man and female, he made them. God said, let us make man in our image. So that's the image of God, male and female. And, and here's the science behind it. The woman comes from within the man. Through the woman, life comes. The son came from within the father. Through the son, life comes. That's the image of God, male and female. That's why the enemy intertwines that and perverts that male and female relationship. Because in his evil heart, he's perverting the true image of God, even if we don't see it. God said, let us make man in our image. Man was made. Man was already formed. When he said, let us make man in our image, he was talking about making a woman out of the man. That makes us in the image of the father and the son because the woman came from within the man and through the woman, we receive life just as the son came from within the father and through the son. So that's the real reason Satan perverts um, sexuality and the Baphomet is dual nature because in, in Satan's evil schematic of things, God is a dual nature, man and female. Let us make man in our image. The image of God is a man and female. Satan takes that literal and pervert it. Like, look what God said. Look what God did. That's his nature, bro. Word, innovate out. I just wanted to drop some science on y'all. I'll keep in touch. Right in my battle, I'm just brainstorming shit. But I wanted to put that in somebody's spirit. High level Christians understand that shit. Like that shit was deep, boy, innovate out.